Hey everybody, John Suriano here, half of the EFT tapping team. And I'm creating this video blog because I don't like to type too much. Uh, it's easier for me <laughs> just to uh, share some concepts and ideas with you this way. So I figured I'd give it a try. What I wanted to share with you this morning is the use of NLP neurological levels with EFT tapping. Now, in case you're not familiar, uh, first with what NLP is, NLP is Neuro Linguistic Programming, and the neurological levels are a very useful framework that you can use to look for targets to tap on. Um, in NLP, we look for things that we need to work with um, throughout the neurological levels. Uh, the late Don Blackaby, who I learned this from, uh, actually used it quite a bit in the educational arena, which is also one of the areas that I do it in. And basically, the key concept to it as you go through the different levels is that the levels influence from the top down and that's going to be very important in about a minute or so as we get to flesh all this out so let me just explain what the levels are first and then explain how they could be useful to turbocharge your tapping and this is uh, one of the ways that the tapping team uses to help turbocharge the results that we get the base level is the environment, okay? And the environment is, let's take a situation. The environment would be who, where, or when does this happen? With who, you know, that kind of thing. What is the environment that is going on with this particular issue, okay? The next level up is behavior. Now, most interventions and most, uh, any kind of therapies and the like, are actually usually aimed at this level, at the behavior level. You see a behavior, you want to change it. It sounds logical, but keep the concept in mind, in the back of your mind, about influencing from the top down, okay? Just keep that in the back of your mind. So you have behaviors here. So basically, what is it you're targeting, okay? Next level up is capability. Now, capability is kind of a double edge. One aspect of capability is, is there a capability deficit? Okay, is there something missing? So for example, uh, if it's a student who can't seem to sit still and focus, is there some kind of capability deficit they don't know how to control their mind, for example? Um, and it could be for any kind of, of issue that you're having. The flip side of that also is, capability-wise, how are you creating the issue? In your own mind okay there is a usually a self-communication about things uh, and that kind of self-communication and that model will be covered in another video blog by the way so stay tuned for that um, so you have the capability level next level up is beliefs okay what do you believe about things that you want to accomplish what do you believe about yourself in relation to those kind of things and then the next one up is the identity level. Okay, these are the I am statements. Okay, now later versions of this include a, one more level called the greater systems level. Uh, for the most part though, we don't really use that one too much in, in this kind of work. We could, and then we could actually draw and tie reframes to that level um, later in the process. But we focus on the beliefs and the identity level. Those are high enough on the chain. And again, what's the key concept? Influences from the top down. Okay, so follow the bouncing ball here for a second. If we tap to clear a negative belief, okay, a limiting belief, or if we tap to clear negative I am statements, okay, uh, again, I'll give an example from the work I do uh, with students a lot. A big I am statement is I am stupid with them. I'm stupid, I'm dumb. Now, if that's an I am statement that is in play, it is going to affect everything from the top down. So, I am stupid. I don't believe I could do this. I therefore cut off all my access to my inner resources. I misbehave whenever I'm in class. Okay, you see how it influences from the top down. Or in general, 
I'm a failure. I don't know how to be better at selling. I cut off my resources to being a better salesperson. I avoid making calls when I'm at work or when work related. Again, boom, 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 boom. See, goes from top down. A useful, a very useful model. So, the keys to the kingdom here and the way we, the EFT tapping team focus is we target beliefs and I am statements right off the bat. We don't go after behaviors necessarily, unless it's something that's pretty um, strong in, in energy and we have to kind of diffuse it somewhat before we could get past it to get to anything else, then yes, we'll do that and we'll diffuse it and we'll do what we need to do. But as soon as possible, we are going to go after beliefs and identity. Why? Because if I do that, we can get to core influencers a whole lot faster. Okay. Now, how do you know what beliefs and I am statements are, identity level statements are? You have to have some sensory acuity about that. And you have to start listening for things that sound like a belief and I am statements. Okay. The I am statements pretty easy. You know, I am stupid. I am a failure. Uh, I'll never succeed at anything. You know, that kind of stuff. You'll know those pretty easily. The belief sometimes needs to be, uh, it takes a little more tuning in to pick those up, but you'll pick them up and you start creating opening statements and, and tapping statements around those and then just follow the thread on those. Now, the beauty and the elegance of doing that is once you clear enough of the limiting beliefs or if you clear the I am statements, the identity beliefs that are really sticking in the way. Things down at the behavior level start shifting real quickly, okay? And it's almost, it's almost like amazing. Like, how is that shifting? I haven't even touched that tapping wise. You don't need to, because you're actually getting the drivers, okay? The beliefs and the identity level stuff. Those are the drivers that create the behaviors and create the competency issues. Because again, most people actually have the skills they need. They actually have the inner resources they need, but they don't access them because they're cut off because of what's at the belief and identity levels. So it's key to get to those levels. That's the kind of tapping that the tapping team does. And we do that for a reason because it gets us to core issues a whole lot faster. So keep that in mind. We'll have some more information coming out about these, uh, not only in future uh, blogs, but also in some of our tapping videos that'll be coming out. And of course, with one of our workshops that are coming up really, really soon. So until next time, this is John, half of J squared of the EFT tapping team. See you next time.